cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. No, oh, okay. I guess I'm taking over. All right. Look at balcony. Nice. That's a nice balcony. Good point of entry. the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Oh, God. Only that were true. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Oh, wait. There we go. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Oh, that guy guarding the door seems to be. Hold on. I guess I gotta look at everything here. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. Okay. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. There he is. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. Put together a plan of attack. Stand by. All right. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. How are you gonna get there? By taking him out, right? Holding. Oh. Hey, the coffee table. Easy to get around and do the second part. That seems way too easy. I, I don't. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Not one of the armed guards right there. The staircase. Wooden? <laughs> he is Batman. He said four. That was only three. Where's the fourth one? That is the fourth one over. There. I just, I completely blind. 
Yep, I'm, I'm blind. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Well, if I take everyone out inside... Where'd go? gonna do it <laughs> we're gonna do it I'm going in I'm going in very good sir your turn to crash his party That went that good. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, big guy. Over here. Suckers break. Shit. Show yourself. You got no goddamn right to be here. Was his legs an option? How about this one? You can't sneak up on me. Be armed. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. You think that's gonna work? I'm gonna light up. Yeah, you were saying? Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid! Explosives armed! Fire when ready. Oh my god. Batman's ready for anything. Where is he? Where's Rachel? You've lost, Falcone. I can go a few more rounds. All right, all right. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But 
someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Gotham! Ha! City. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! smoke could reportedly be seen from street level tonight the skyline club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious batman and alleged mob boss carmine falcone who was found dangling over a 50-story drop bet falcone loved that view though i'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back, saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Wayne knew that was gonna come back to bite me. Oh my rut, god. Who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Wow. Uh, uh, that I wasn't. I, I think he's mad. Kind of scared me a little bit. Just, just okay. So, uh, first of all, I'm kind of late in saying this, but I'm sorry about the audio issues, and you guys can barely hear me in the first couple parts. Uh, the first three parts. I wasn't expecting this to be so short. 
but I will start episode two very soon. Um, all right, so did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? You and 69.5% of players defied Falcone by inviting Harvey into the private meeting. Well, you know, they're enough for friends. <clears throat> did you provide a quote, Ricky story? Damn, 88. Point eight players chose to control the emerging Wayne story. Provide Nikki with a quote. I feel like that. Okay, like I thought that would help, but I I also said, if you guys can hear me, because I, I again sorry about the audio audio issues. I said like I I didn't know he was gonna say specifically that, and I feel like it was gonna come back and and bite him in the butt because. If he would have said it differently, I would have been okay with it. But the fact that he said his whole family has no connection to, or, you know, crime, like, it's something he can't really prove himself. So, you know, if there was any little connection, that whole thing would be just shown as a big fat lie. Like, if he, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the other options were. I forgot. But I, I'm going to regret that. I'm going to regret it. Ah, it's gonna haunt me forever. All right. Um, did you break the dog shooter's arm? Ooh, this one was very, very close. But it looks like the majority. The, the I can't speak. The majority won. And uh, you know, I, I want to break his arm. You know, you just had to make sure he talked. I felt like he was holding more. Had to teach him a lesson. You know. What else we got? Who did you give the Falcone data to? Okay. Gordon is the right choice. I don't care what anyone says. Gordon is the right choice. I mean, look, we, we had the option of uh, Vicky Vale or Gordon. And Vicky Vale over here used the quote to basically show that the Waynes are, you know, a part of a crime organization. You know, so she used it against us, you know. Uh, it, she could have just kept it on the low. I, though she didn't know it was going to be this bad. And she must have really thought the Waynes were innocent. But it was still used against them. Whereas you give it to Gordon. And it could only be used for good. Because that's 100% proof that Valcone is guilty. And that's better than giving it to Vicky, where it could probably be used against you, you know, or not hurt at all. A reporter can't do much because reporters are just, you know, they twist everything around anyway. Oh, uh, that's just my opinion. How did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? Well, I think, okay. Okay, I think the 21.8% of players were just goofing off. But... We all know how Batman is, you know, voice crack, ill. We all know how Batman is, and, you know, you gotta do it for Alfred, you know? He's like, don't, don't lose sight. Don't, don't be a monster, you know? He's, he's gonna get out of prison. You already know he's gonna get out of prison, but, it's just, ah, uh, it's difficult. All right. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce, no matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. I wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... 
distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way.